All right, YouTube, we've got this blank canvas in front of us. What are we doing today? We're doing a top 10. It's been a minute since I did a top 10 video, and this is one I have not done before. I'm doing top 10 knives under three inches, folding knives under a three inch blade. Um, chose that because it's illegal in most places, um, and sometimes you want a smaller knife to carry, something a little more sheeple friendly is what I call them. So we're gonna do 10 options. Five under $100 and the other five are over $100. So we'll start with the budget um, offerings first. So and these are in no particular order. They're all great knives. So let's just start with one of my new favorites. Uh, this is the Lander um, from NAFS, Ben Peterson's company. Just a fantastic design. 58 bucks out the door. You've got a um blade length of 2.75 inches in d2 steel with an overall length of 6.4 inches and like i said 58 bucks now what makes this knife great though is the the blade to handle ratio is really well done just really good um it's fantastic actually for being a small knife you still get a full four finger grip on this thing you still get a good amount of cutting edge and the handle to blade ratio is excellent so, and it, it's a really cool knife because it's uh, got swappable scales. I've got some white scales on here. So for an extra like 15 bucks, you can get some different color scales, tons of scale options available. Uh, just a really good budget offering for just under 60 bucks. Really fantastic little knife and actually really enjoying it. So that's the first one on the list. The next one in the budget category, will go with the Kaiser Feist. Uh, this is a front flipper. This is the blue jean denim micara version. Um, that you can get off Amazon from Mojave Outdoors. It's about $75, comes with, um, with a blade length of 2.8 inches, a overall length of 6.5. You've got 154 CM steel here. The micarta handles in this are fantastic, really well done. The flipping action is great for a front flipper. Um, one of the original front flippers from my recollection. Um, it's been around a long time. Lots of different variations, titanium, other different options. This one particular one, like I said, 75 bucks. I'll link all these in the description below where you can buy them on Amazon and various other retailers or they're not sold on Amazon. So um, that's a fantastic option as well for under hundred bucks. All right, next up, this one's an easy one to include, the Civivi Elementum. It's a fantastic knife. Comes in around 50 bucks depending on, um, you know, what you, how you order it. You know, there's, there's like a billion of these. It's a very high collectible knife. I know guys that have every CVV elementum out there at every color. Because um, it's, it's a fantastic little knife. It comes in at 2.9 inches, so it's just under 3 inches. 6.99 overall length. Uh, this particular one is in a wood scale. This is one actually gifted to me from CVV with my old channel name on it. Uh, you can see I've beaten the heck out of this. This is kind of sat in a kitchen drawer. A lot of people use this to open packages, all kinds of stuff. This one's in D2 steel. They do offer some in S35, various other things. So... Like I said, different handle materials, carbon fiber, G10, wood, micarta, you name it. Um, just a great knife. Uh, flipper tab, flipper deployment only. Just a really fantastic little EDC knife. Um, had to include it. So, All right. Next up in the budget category, the another Kaiser. We've got the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. Now, the Mini Sheepdog is one of my favorite little... Uh, smaller knives. I've always really liked this one. This one in particular is the non-flipper thumb hole deployment it is now readily available. This one comes in at 2.65 inches in the blade with an overall length of 5.77. So it's actually one of the smaller ones out there. Again, 154 CM steel on this guy. Uh, my car to handles. This is again, very collectible knife made in all kinds of variants, shapes, and sizes. Just a really good small knife. You've got this nice uh, forward area, to, flat area here to rest your finger to choke up a little bit. Or even if you choke back, it's still very comfortable in the hand for being such a small little knife. So uh, the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog comes in at, I think, around, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks, somewhere around there. So definitely under that $100 price range. All right, number five in the budget category is another Civivi. I'm um, not surprised here that these are dominated by Civivi and Kaiser because pretty much make the best budget knives right now that I can think of. Um, this is the Civivi Altus. This is a button lock. So also available in multicolors, the red with black, uh, red G10 with black blade, nitro V steel on this one. 
one of the larger knives on the table, 2.97 inch blade, 7.12 overall inches. So just under three inches, but it does come in under three inches. These are about 72 bucks um, on Amazon right now. Seven, again, link, links will be in the description to these. <clears throat> it's a fantastic little knife, but it's on the, on the larger side compared to some of these other ones, but uh, still under that three inch blade length and you have a nice button lock if you're into that fidget. Thumb stud deployment, works great with the middle finger flick. You can use the button lock to open it. So multiple deployments, deep carry pocket clip. That good steel, Nitro V is a great budget steel. Yeah, can't go wrong with the Altus. All right guys, so that's your budget offerings. Let's get into the non-budget. Let me take a sip of water here. Dealing with a little bit of something going around the air right now. Some kind of tickle in the back of my throat. Man, it's been annoying. Um, Non-budget, we'll start with the least expensive ones and go up from there. And that one is another Ben Peterson design, the Banter. Um, this one is the Micarta uh, S35 version. These come in at just over a hundred bucks, uh, 110 I believe, 2.9 inch blade, 6.5 overall length. That doesn't seem right. That's Blood HQ, <laughs> maybe messing up their stats like they like to do. But it does come under the three inches. And again, another bend design that has a full finger grip for a small knife. That's hard to find, you know, hard to find a full four finger grip with a good blade to handle ratio. Um, again, you're not going to get any more blade out of this than, than what's included in here. Just a fantastic blade to handle ratio. A really ergonomically designed handle. Nice wide blade. Um, really slicey. Just a really fantastic smaller knife. And that comes in just over 100 bucks and $110. So the Wee Banter, all available in multiple different um, carbon fiber, G10, Micarta. He's got some fun scales he sells on his website, the NAFS uh, website. Like those Nintendo Wii ones are pretty sick. So like, you know, really just a, a cool customizing life as well. So that's the first one. Next up, same about the same price, another Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Yorkie. Now this is a Ray Laconico design. And this is the Thumb Stud Yorkie. This is a newer version, I believe, with a bone, um, bone ivory uh, G10, I believe, handle. Could be Micarta, pretty sure it's G10 though. Um, an M390 blade still. So for just over 100 bucks, you're getting a um, M390 blade, which is pretty nice, because usually M390 is reserved for a little bit more expensive knives. You've got a super smooth action. Um, again, a really well-designed handle. It's pretty neutral, so you can get that. I can get a full from your grip on that without any issues i wear a medium-sized glove so if you got bigger if you got bigger mitts this video is probably not for you anyway right unless you like small knives so um yeah really fantastic action on this guy um that's like i said m390 blade still 2.6 inch blade 6.18 inches overall um 119 bucks currently in this configuration so really dig the paratrooper or the stormtrooper kind of look of both that one and the, the lander i did create the lander that way you can see the g the white g10 is getting really dirty or really easily which is normal so i don't think that'll happen with this this has, seems to have some sort of like kind of coating on it so i don't think it's going to get that stain like that g10 does so maybe that is my carta i don't know someone correct me if i'm wrong all right so next up let's step up in price a little bit we've got three left and they're all made in the usa the next three so they're gonna be a little bit more expensive it's gonna be the pair of three now this is kind of surprising because this looks like a bigger knife especially compared to like the banter right compare the pair of three to the banter the pair of three is quite a bit more quite a bit larger in the handle but has about the same blade length um the pair of three is under three inches at about two point nine five inches with an overall length of 7.4 inches um made in the united states in golden colorado this is the maximate version i've got a few pair of threes you guys know i'm a big pair of three fanatic i love the pair of three this is a um got the awt skinny scales the, that re, that eliminate the liner so they're lighter um this is a custom cerakote from uh river's edge cutlery on this one so it's just available in tons of different steels, but it does fall under that three inch um, mark, even though it will have the largest handle of any of the knives on this table for sure. Um, no doubt about that. But price range starting out in about 160 bucks for the S45 version. Um, and then 
numerous options out there. The lightweight, tons of different steels, just a fantastic knife under three inches. So kind of surprising for based on its size. All right, two more left. Last, um, not last, but the next one up, we're going up in price here a little bit. The Benchmade 945, the Mini Osborne. This is a 2.92 inch blade, 6.75 overall length of S30V steel. S30V is still a good steel, guys, no matter what people say these days. Yes, it's older, but it's still good. Um, and Benchmade does a good job heat treating, in my experience, on the S30V. This one comes with just over 200 bucks, $210. It is made in here in the USA, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive, like we talked about. Um, but just a, fast, a fantastic small knife. Like, they did such a good job shrinking the Osborne down and making it into a full-form finger grip, but still under that 3-inch blade. Um, makes it really small, easy to carry. Most of these knives will fit in my fifth pocket of my jeans. I usually wear the 511 um, Flex Defender jeans and pants, and it has a little bit bigger uh, fifth pocket, and all these knives will fit in there, which is great. So if you want to be discreet while you carry, sorry, just getting more water, or if you want to, uh, you know, carry a backup knife, you know, and put, put it in your fifth pocket, all the knives on this table will fit in those pockets if you have those same similar jeans. So, all right, guys. Last, but certainly not least, the most expensive knife, but it's absolutely iconic, and you couldn't not do this, the Chris Reeves Sabenza. Small Sabenza, it is under three inches at 2.99. <laughs> couldn't get any closer. Uh, with a 6.98, actually I think it's about 2.98 inches, but 6.98 inches overall length. Um, this particular one is an S45. The new ones coming out will be in Magna Cut. Uh, once they use up all their S30, uh, S45, the older ones, you can be found in S35. Um, this spends a 21. You know, those are discontinued, but they're still out there. Um, now, if you buy one of these new, you're looking about 425 bucks. So they're definitely on the expensive end. But guess what? This knife will last you your absolute lifetime. It's built like a tank. It's got precision machining, precision. It's just a precision machine. It's It really, honestly of all the knives on this table is by far the nicest. Now, again, you are paying a lot more for the Sabenza. But I did, you know, you can buy, I've bought used ones uh, for around, in fact, I just picked this one up because I wanted to get another Sabenza and I was cool with the user and this one is about 300 bucks. So if you look around, um, you can find good deals on users. They carry a lifetime warranty. You can always send them in to be refinished. Um, you can get double thumb lugs if you wanted to, so many options. So. Yeah, you couldn't do a video of top 10 knives under three inches without including the Chris Reese Small Sabenza. All right, guys, that's it. That's all 10. Um, let's put them back, back all out on the table. We'll do it based on price still. So you kind of get an idea. Starting with the Sabenza at the bottom. Uh, we'll do that pair of three. We'll do that one. And this guy. Then we'll do the budget ones over here. Hopefully I'm getting all these in frame. Nope, I am not holding the macro. Not even close to in frame. I gotta zoom out. Maybe if I didn't have the blades open, that would help. So there you have it. Top 10 knives under three inches. You could argue a lot of different knives that should be included in this um well there we go finally got them all in frame but yeah these are all really good choices guys highly recommend every single one on this table again i'll have links in the description below thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video